Hello everyone again, it is Andrew from MAO Magic with the new Loop Fob from the Loop Pay Inc. company. This is basically a uh, payment solution, kind of a competitor to the upcoming coin that is still slated to ship in summer 2014. The idea is you take the fob and you can go to any kind of point of sale machine, press the button on the side, and it'll transmit your credit card information and pay for your item. It comes with basically three things. It has your keychain piece, the fob, and its silicone case, as well as a micro USB cable. Now this does bring us to our first difference between this and the coin. This is rechargeable compared to the coin which battery will die after about two years of usage. Now this is covered in a silicone case, which I particularly do not like. It's kind of annoying and I hate having silicone uh, cases in your pocket like for phones. They are absolutely the worst cases as far as I'm concerned. They stick to stuff. They're just annoying. So I really wish my biggest complaints with the loop are all going to be like design focused. It's rather clunky. They put in the credit card swiper into the actual item itself. You have to have this case on it. Um, it is not Bluetooth, so you cannot, I figured since it would be uh, rechargeable, it would be nice to be able to kind of pair with your phone. And it'll have some of the security features like coin has, like if it's taken or stolen or something like that, you're gonna know, because your phone will notify you if it's been kind of taken far away from where you are and you know could be stolen or something like that. It does not have anything like that. If you want to interface with your phone, you actually have to plug it in. The coin I know has two different parts. It has a credit card swiper. You swipe your cards into the app. Once in the app, then you using Bluetooth can transfer to your coin. Your coin can hold eight cards at a time. The loop can hold unlimited cards, but it can only use one card at a time without plugging into your phone and changing the default card. Other than that, not much. So basically it can hold one card at a time as far as you're concerned when you're trying to use this guy. Other than that, it's a decent build quality. It kind of looks and acts similar to a Square, if you are familiar with the Square payment system. Now, I know some of you out there may be wondering how this works. It's actually pretty cool. Inside there's a magnetic loop, hence the name, and all you do is hold it up next to a point of sale unit right in the middle of the credit card uh, striper, and you hit the button on the side and it emits a magnetic pulse. The same that's put off, kind of, by the magnetic stripe on your credit card. It reads it and accepts your payment information. Which means, by the way, unlike coin, this will not work in ATMs or gas station uh, point of sale machines. Other than that, it's fairly easy to go ahead and enter your card. All you do is swipe it on the bottom, you're going to enter your name, security code, and the uh, provider's number, and then you just go ahead and hit save. Now this does seem a bit cumbersome and annoying compared to other ones, kind of like the coin, it seems very easy to add a card. This you have to kind of go through manually and enter a lot of information. And then you go ahead and save, then you can either do a photo of the card or an actual uh, template image that they have already chosen out for you, like these gift card ones or colored credit card ones here at the bottom. All these seem kind of unnecessary because I don't think a lot of people are gonna say, oh, let me see the card. You show them a picture of a card on your phone. I don't think that's gonna be accepted by a lot of places. Same with ID, they allow you to put your ID into the phone. But again, people aren't gonna take a photo of your ID when you're trying to buy alcohol. It's probably not gonna work. Loop seems to want you to actually have this connected to your phone through the headphone jack whenever you wanna make a purchase. Whenever it's plugged in, you're able to choose a card and hit pay right from it. Now this does make it a little bit easier and quicker, but it's still not as easy as the coin where you can just swipe through all the cards and then pay with the one you like. I also like how this is actually fairly secure. It seems to cover a lot of the security issues people initially had with Coin. Coin did later release some new features that seem to address a lot of these issues. On the uh, loop itself, there's the button that allows you to pay. You can have this button disabled after a certain amount of time, and then you have to plug it into your phone again to reinitialize it. Setting up the wallet itself, you have to make sure you put in your social to verify your identity. Then, only cards with your name and information are allowed to be added to the loop. At this point, I'm just happy to see something come to market. I'm not sure what's gonna be better in the long run, the loop or the coin. But I do think right now, I still think the coin looks a little bit better. Loop keeps advertising that it's better than the coin because it has a fob, it is not a flimsy piece of plastic that can get damaged in your wallet, which is true because they do have to get credit cards replaced every so often. But coin does come with a two year warranty. So if it does break, it is possible to get a new one. The coin also is possible to use in stuff like ATMs and gas station machines that require a physical card to be entered. Now while the Loop is on the market and does what it's advertised, I think a second generation device would be a lot better. For instance, I would love if the credit card reader was not built in so that the Loop itself could be smaller. I love if it was easier to take off of the keychain instead of either taking out of the case 
or trying to remove it from my keychain, say well, I'm gonna drive through and I'm trying to get it off my keys that are still in the car. I also would like to have it have Bluetooth and not have to actually plug it into my phone at all. It does have a rechargeable battery, so that does not seem like a stretch, but it might increase the price a little bit. Now I've been using Loop for a few days now at grocery stores, inside of gas stations, restaurants, and drive throughs So far it's worked every single time, maybe I have to press the button once or twice. If I were to drive through, the attendant told me that it did not work, but I was in line and I wasn't going to try to make sure and explain it and make sure she was doing it right. I think it's just a little bit odd for people to see this little square plastic thing that, they want you to, that you want them to hold next to their payment system. Now if you have any questions, make sure you guys throw them up in the comments. Please subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll see you guys next time.